Hello guys, in this video I am gonna share you how you can approve your merchant center account and this new method works for all account and your account and your all of products will be approved if you following this method so now let's get started let's jump into the screen so first of all make sure your store is set up properly and make sure you set up all the policy pages like privacy policy refund policy shipping policy terms of service and billing and terms of conditions and contact page and if you done and set up all of these pages make sure contact information present at the footer and make sure visible all the payment gateway icon so if it is done then move to the next step now visit this url and open the merchant center opening page and click on the sign up for new account do you sell products online select yes enter the website url select yes and continue and enter your business name select your register country so i am selecting united states now accept get alert and tips about a way to manage your online store with google select this and continue to merchant center now click on continue now add business details like phone number and address information now save now and now verify your now you need to verify your phone number enter the verification code and now claim your website copy the verification code and paste into the theme file click on edit code theme header and paste it on hat and save now verify website and claim website now now click on continue and now you need to set up the shipping rates
standard shipping order below thirty dollar now save continue now set up taxes so we did not collect any sales tax so that is why I turned off now click on save continue and now add product this is the most important and crucial part so make sure you submit the correct and accurate information so that is why we are using this application let me install now search this application called feed for google shopping select this application and add app now click on the login with google button and select your google id click on allow select your merchant center id and confirm and we already enable the program and verify the domain already and shipping rate is also done Now select the first option product ID format select the first one global format and sync now it is done select the next option policy start final review continue now click on the back button so now you don't need to connect your Google Ads account first of all first you need to approve your free listing once your free listing has been approved then you can click on the manage program and enable the shopping ads you no need to enable the shopping ads until your free listing has been approved so this is the new change because if you link your google ads account and your merchant center account is suspended then your both account suspended due to the policy violation and it can't be reviewed so first you need to approval for free listing and once your free listing has been approved then you can link your google ads account and click on get started and launch your shopping ads so first of all make sure your free listing has been approved so this is the new method and new change on google merchant center and now again click on this gear icon and complete the setup shipping is already done now now add the return policy select your country now paste the return policy make sure every detail is match with your store policy 
yeah it is done now so now you need to wait for the free listing approval and once your free listing has been approved then you can enable your shopping ads program because if you link your merchant center account and if your merchant center account is suspended and if you link with your google ads then your both account got suspended so do not do this you can see the policy update at December 2022 so this is the new change so now we need to wait for two to three days once these listing get approved then we can enable our shopping ads program and then we can run the shopping ads and make sure everything is correct so check so that's it for this video so that's the new change on google merchant center policy first you need to approve your free listing and then you can go for the paid listing if you see any error in the free listing then first of all fix all of these errors and once you fix all of these errors then you need to enable your shopping ads program because if you link your suspended account with google ads then your google ads account will be suspended so this is the new update and if you have any question then you can comment down below and if you need any help then you can reach out to me and i will help you thank you for this video Goodbye guys.